Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. This is the newest edition of Coffee Talkin' with Lex, featuring Alex Loves Beauty. This is my sister. I will link her channel below. Watch her video. She does really beautiful looks. She's doing some fun lip swatches, some really fun colorful looks, stepping out of her comfort zone. So I will link her below. We are drinking some eggnog today. And so this edition is Tipsy Talkin'. So today we are going to be doing a little uh, who knows who better tag. So we have our questions written down. We have everything um, on little cards and we're gonna ask the questions and then that way nobody can change their answers. Nobody can try to like mess around and say no, that's not what I said. You can't sabotage each other. Exactly. So let's start. First and also I'm gonna be answering the questions about her and she's gonna be answering the questions about me just in case that wasn't clear. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, yeah, but I had a brain fart. It happens. Okay. So the first question is, how tall are you? So, 5'8". You're answering about me? Yeah. And I'm going to say 5'7 for you. I'm 5'8". Okay, cool. Because we're both definitely 5'7". Are we? Yeah. <laughs> On my driver's license? Well, you can't really see. On my driver's license, it says 5'8". That's probably because you told them that that's how tall you were. No. Because they don't actually measure you. They had a whole measuring thing behind me, I promise you. Really? Yeah. They've never measured me. They're just like, how tall are you? I could have said I was 7 feet, and they would have been like, you okay? Okay, the next question is dogs versus cats. She's a dog girl. And you're also a dog girl. Yep. Dogs. Uh, are you in college or have you ever gone to college? And you graduated from FIU. Yeah, and you have gone to BC. Yes. And FIU technically. Yes. Technically, and that's a, that's a conversation for another video. So yeah. Okay, next question. What is your favorite beverage? So we wrote down a regular everyday beverage and then an alcoholic beverage. What she means by regular everyday is non-alcoholic and alcoholic. <laughs> not just everyday. Whatever. You can technically have alcohol every day. I, I would not suggest that, but some people I do would. it. Anyways, uh, for you? For non-alcoholic. For non-alcoholic? I feel like you drink a lot of water. Yeah, water. Um, and for you, I was going to say, um, also water, but yeah, I think water because you, you're not one to drink a lot of fun, exciting things. So I was thinking water for myself too, but I also drink coffee. Like my other thing would be coffee. So that's, that I one that I wrote down. think of coffee because I'm thinking of like beverages that you would have like with a meal mm -hmm. or something like that. So I didn't, think, but yeah, coffee makes so much sense. Yeah. Okay. And then for alcoholic for you, margaritas. Yeah. Or um, a Floridian. Or, or a red stripe, but I think you wrote down margarita. I definitely did not. Oh. I 100% wrote crown and ginger ale. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I, it's funny because we were just out to lunch and I actually said, I was like, if I'm not, if I'm doing like a mixed drink, margarita 100%. Or yeah, you did. Say I that. did I didn't drink think about crown it. and ginger ale, or Maker's Mark and ginger yeah. ale. Um, okay, so for you, crap, and you actually just said it too, and I can't remember. It was something with club soda. Oh no, but that's a new thing, so that's not what I wrote down. I feel like you drink old fashions or something. <laughs> okay, that's well, how to go too. Okay, well, blue moon. Then. Yes, that's okay. what I wrote down. Okay, blue moon. So coffee and blue moon. Yeah, and I had the water with the crown and ginger ale. Okay, so this one is. What is your spirit animal? And this one was so hard for me because all I could think about was the little girl um, that she goes. Want to be famous? No. Oh my god! I didn't think about that. No, I thought away. No. away. I thought about the little girl that she's like. Uh, you can't kill me. I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> and she had the life size Barbie and she launches it across the room. I don't know that one. Oh my god! I love that one. Um, but that's not what I wrote. Obviously, okay. Because we wrote actual animals. Um, actual animals for you. Honestly, I have no idea. I'm gonna go ahead and just go with your zodiac sign and say a crab. Oh, I wrote down a sloth because <laughs> when I was thinking about this this answer, I was tired. Okay. So I wrote down a sloth. I don't even know, but a crab too. And then okay. for you, a llama was the only thing that. Oh I my think god! Do you know so okay, so when we were inside writing down our answers, I literally was thinking to myself, I'm like, I'm just gonna say a llama for her. <laughs> I was gonna write a llama. Too, because it was a llama 
and the little girl with the life-size Barbie. Those were the only two things running through my mind. I didn't say llama because I, I had a feeling that you were not going to select llama, but that's what I wanted to say, but not I gonna lie. Because we saw that video with the, the llama today. Getting Is that boots? why? Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, I went specific on mine, so it's not just an animal, but this animal has a name. <laughs> I have no idea. Huh? Say something. Max. Nope. Chloe. Chloe. And now, backstory. So Chloe, okay, Chloe's my dog. She's a, she's a rescue and she is my spirit animal because her and I, although I have two dogs, Max is my boy dog. She's obviously my female dog. Max is the love of my life, whatever. But Chloe is awesome. Chloe wants you to acknowledge her and love her. But she's also done with your everything and she wants to be left alone. And yeah. I want attention, but I also don't want you to ever talk to me. So that's yeah. me. So she, she is she's me. She's so cute. Yeah. Okay. Um, this one's easier. I don't remember what this one was. What was this question? Coffee or tea. Oh, coffee or tea. Yeah. If you could drink coffee, coffee. <laughs> but you can't drink coffee, so I think you wrote down tea. I said tea, but oh my god, coffee. Yes. yes. <laughs> And you're 100% coffee. coffee. I don't think I've ever even seen you drink a tea. No. Ever. Unless it's I a want, sweet tea. I want to drink tea. Like, I want to be one of those girls that's like, mm, I have my hibiscus freaking lime, ginger, whatever. But then I brew it and I'm like, this tastes like hot water Socks, with nothing it. on there. And I, on the other hand, I have every flavor of tea ever made because I love tea. And by every tea, I mean every single caffeine-free flavored tea oh, I yeah. have all so of So that's them. why she can't do the coffee because yeah. the caffeine like randomly wigs her out. Yeah, I can drink soda without a problem, but anything else that has caffeine, tea or coffee, I, I'm literally dying. It gives me the most extreme jitters and it lasts forever in a day. So anyways. Okay, so the next one is what is your favorite movie? Okay. And this one was hard. This one was really hard and inside dad and my husband, like our father and my husband were like screaming and talking about something so I really couldn't even think. But I have no idea what, where, what route you went. I, yeah, and I'm gonna throw out a movie I've never even watched, High School Musical. No. Thank you. I'm glad that it's a no, but no. that's, I Not honestly have no at idea. Oh. So I went for my go-to answer, which is The Little Mermaid. Oh my god. Wow. I hate myself. I should have known better. Yeah, you really should have. I really have. should have known better. Yeah, that is you your go-to movie. Okay. Okay, I don't know what route you went. I don't know if you went for 90s. I don't know if you went I for went for a movie I've watched a thousand times. Eat, Pray, Love? I have not watched that movie a thousand times. I don't times. know. Interstellar. Oh, I've never seen that movie. Yeah, Interstellar. Okay, who is your favorite YouTuber? Now, I know you don't watch very many YouTube anything. So, so mine should be easy. So I'm gonna go Robbie D. Christie. Raw Sloppy Christie. We Robbie love. Crispy. We love a Raw we Sloppy Christie. love her. And I know you love Kathleen. Yeah. Kathleen Lights. I know you love uh, Desi and Katie, but you love Katie. Oh, I live for Katie. That woman is great. Um, you used to watch Jacqueline Hill a lot. I know you love Raw Beauty Crispy. Um, there's like other ones that I see you watch, but I don't know their names. Yeah, so I, I wrote my top three. Um, and so my current top three is Kathleen, uh, Casey Holmes, and Casey. Raw Beauty. Yeah, and Raw Beauty. Because, you okay. know, we love Chris here on these. Oh my these God. She, I. She, it's that she is my spirit animal. Yeah. Every time she does a little mouth, and yes, uh, I God, love it. Live for it. Okay, your go-to hairstyle. Your go-to hairstyle is exactly what you have on right now. Straight and down. Yep, that's it. Uh, and yours is. You have a few go-tos. You either do little buns, little yes. space buns, or you do something curly. Yes. And it's mostly because my hair right now is at such an awkward length where like. If it's down and curly, it looks fine, but I can't do one bun because everything just kind of flies out, so I do little mini space buns. What'd you do? What? I wrote curly. Oh, okay, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, go to fast food order. Yours is nuggets from McDonald's, french fries, and a hot fudge sundae, or caramel sundae. Oh, yeah. Nuggets. Yes. We love a chicken nug Chicky around here. nuggies. Yeah, chicken nugs. I don't think you know mine. Like my true ride or die. I'm gonna say double cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. It's not even from McDonald's. Okay, give me just a, a clue as to where. Taco Bell. I have no idea. A Crunchwrap Supreme with a Baja Blast. 
Ooh. Yes. I love it. I don't eat lot. Taco Bell that often, but like that's the only thing really that I get from from Taco Bell. I wouldn't I'll have even eat thought the tacos, Taco Bell. but no. I would not have even thought Taco Bell. Okay, so so far you definitely know me better. Great. Love that. Uh, who is your favorite person in the world? Okay. Her Dad. husband. Dad. No, I put you. <laughs> okay. And you I'm. put your husband. And I put my husband. Um, wow, I'm a bad sister. No, you're not. <laughs> I figured I don't have a husband because if you know, if I had a husband, yeah, it would I definitely would not him. be me. It would have been me. <laughs> I thought you were gonna put someone else. Max? No, like for me. Like I thought you were gonna say someone else. I don't know. Oh god, I would have never said that he, that's your favorite person. Uh, okay, favorite candle scent. Oh, um, hmm, that champagne something from... Yes! <laughs> I did not think you were going to get that. that. Champagne toast? Champagne, or champagne pop or champagne toast? No, champagne from pop is the highlight from okay. Becca. Champagne, champagne toast. toast or whatever. Mm, I, I love, love that. Pop. Yes, I love that That's one. your favorite scent. So you know, and you know that, that is... I can... It's raining. Yeah. That scent, I can... I like it when I'm in your room or something like that. But I cannot stand that smell. The other one that I love so much is the the bourbon one. I think it's only a seasonal Bows one. Bows and no bourbon, no. bourbon and bow ties. I think it might be that one. Like but that. that one is is the same thing. When I first plug it in, it smells amazing. Or turn it on or whatever, it smells amazing. But when you leave the room and come back, it smacks you in the face. Mm, I love that. Uh, I feel like mine's not a seasonal one. I'm trying to think of the smell of your house. I don't light a lot of candles that often, but this would be something. Is it the vanilla from Trader Joe's? Or the peanut butter one from Trader Joe's? Peanut butter okay. candles? Isn't there a peanut butter one? No, God no, I would not want my house to smell like, my house smells like peanut butter to you? No, but I'm just, I'm like. I rarely even eat peanut butter. I'm this looking, one is like peanut I'm butter looking candles. at your table and all the little silver Trader Joe's Oh, tins. because it says PB on that oh, little what tin. what does that mean? Peony Blossom. <laughs> But that's not the smell. The smell. Um, what does your house smell like? It's not like a, it's not one. Of, it's not that it smells dirty, but it's not one of those clean smells. Is what I want. Oh, to you're say. saying like those like like a laundry. Fresh, smells. Yeah, no, it's no, not it's like something that. warm. It's vanilla sugar, isn't it? No, it's a uh, coconut sandalwood. Oh. Coconut sandalwood from Bath and Body Works. There's also like a something flannel situation from, I think it's Airwick, and that one smells, mm. And there's another one that's like an Island Cove or something like that too, that smells really good. Too. Yeah, I like those beachy smells too. Well, I have, you think it's beachy, oh, it's but not? it's got like a warm, I like something that almost smells like incense. Okay, so. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. because I, I feel like I remember like 10 year old me going into your mom's house and smelling incense burning. Yes. So it's it's kind of like an incensey kind of a situation. I have a, a lady that works for a company called Sensi, and every time that I order from her, because I do waxes, I don't do actual. I have a lady who works for a company called Sensi, and I do the waxes. I don't do actual candles because I will burn my house down by accident, <laughs> forget to blow it out, it'll be a whole thing. Love that. But uh, I tell her all the time, I'm like, okay, you know what I like, you know what I don't like. I want seasonal, I want this, I want that. And Hook she, it up. she always does so good. So shout out to her. I don't think she's ever given me something that I'm like. Thanks. And I'll, like, I know, pass God, it. Yeah, like I don't so she's never ever. given you a peanut butter scented no, wax. No, no, I would love that probably though. You probably um, would. I feel like you know who really like something like foodie, Anthony. Probably. Yeah. Weirdo. Anthony's our brother, by the way. He probably like like a food scented something. Like if it can be like waffles and syrup. They love that. Have that. I, I, you know, they have a, a company for Disney. It's called, or not for Disney, but it does, it's Disney Scents. It's called like Magic Creations or Magic Candles because I'm on an annual pass holder's Facebook page and somebody was asking about that. Oh my and God. they have the scents for the different parks and uh, they have the scents for the Rise of Soren. I would they have love like that. Um, like the a scent for um, Main Street. No. Uh, Avatar. Oh. Pandora. Yeah. That would be awesome. It smells like, have you guys been there? Because y'all need to go there. If you haven't been there, you need to go because you have just to take do, a whiff around. It smells you great. You have to do the rope, rope drop. drop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can so. smell all the scents of Pandora while you're doing the ride. It's amazing. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So, that was that. This is our Tipsy Talkin'. Tipsy Christmas talkin'. special. Holiday special. Yeah. 
Yep, yep. And she definitely won. She obviously yeah. knows me better than I know her. Oh, uh, we should have put aside the ones that we got wrong so we could. I thought about it, but I mean, let's be honest. You would have basically. You, we already know you won. <laughs> so, thank you for watching. I will link the video on her channel below. I will link her channel below, and we will see you next time. Bye.